we didn't go to the court order program, which doesn't I don't understand why people don't follow the rules. But you can't go to a program we didn't order you to go to. Then we didn't do any community service hours, or if you did, he didn't turn it in the end. And he missed screen September 30th, October 8th, and 29th, November 12th, December 10th, and 31st. Because he had to go to work. That's correct, Judge. If I may. Yeah. So I understand I'm looking at um, the Hill program. My client did state that uh, he did enroll in a different program. And you know, I understand the Hill program was court ordered. He did express that um, he just didn't receive the information, so he enrolled in a different program, which is ETRS. He didn't the what does that mean? He got a probation officer. If he didn't receive it, he could have asked. Yes. I don't understand that. I understand. He stated that probation failed to give him the information. I don't to believe that. Him. This is everybody goes to heal. <laughs> He's the only one never received. I've never heard that ever. I understand. And you got a dedicated probation officer. That's the only thing she does. So I, I find it very hard to believe she would not give him information on the program and that she suddenly just violates him. She, he had to know. And this, this probation goes back to July of 2022. A judge regarding the community service, my client um, expressed to me that he did complete 20 hours through focus home. He had four hours remaining. I do see um, probation didn't receive proof of that, right? But I'm just notifying the court of that. Uh, regarding the How are you this negligent with your own probation? You say you do things and you don't tell anybody that it, or turn in anything where it can be verified. You don't get any referrals. You don't ask about it. You do some work. You don't turn it in. And then you miss all these tests. And, and you think these are valid excuses? I, I don't understand that. You would be fired from a job for this. <laughs> Not compliance. We can't fire you, but we can do a recommended time in jail. I just don't know what to say. I mean, it's too easy. And we lay it all out for you. You got to do X, Y, and Z. Probation even says, can you get this done by your next meeting or by this? We don't have anything done here. Well, Judge, my client would like the opportunity to address the court if that's okay briefly. Okay, sure. Okay, so with the Hill program, I did every time since you missed it, you have to ask her for the contact mm. information. She had a bunch of times that she didn't have it. Multiple well, times. She doesn't yes. have any information for the Hill program. Yes, I've okay. asked her. And that was fine for you. No, you no, didn't no. come to me, did you? Did you? Did you? No, because we just had a recently court date for it. I'd rather have it. No, you could have called my office like everybody else does. We get plenty of calls. Oh, crying about this, crying about that. We fix it. So if you told me that Miss Turner, the knows your probation officer, says she don't have any information, she'd have been in my office during the phone call. But she didn't call. I mean, she told me she didn't have it, and we just had to let What do you think she's going to say if you tell her that? You said what she was saying. What's she gonna say if you tell her that? If that's what she told you. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Get the answer, turn it up here, please. I'm passing this. Again, we're gonna recall 22F00166, people of the city of Southfield versus Deshaun Holmes. Right here, we're gonna the city. Okay. Okay. And so, Mr. Turner, Mr. Holmes has pled guilty to the violations as alleged in your petition, which was uh, that he had failed to pay off all his fines and costs, failed to attend heal, did not turn in the community service, and did not complete the screen. Um, one thing he did say is that he went to this other ETRS program, which was not court ordered because he never could get the information for the HEAL program 
from probation. He says he requested it several different times and was told that they did not have the appropriate information for him to contact the Hill program. That's absolutely false, Your Honor. And no time has anybody ever asked me for the Hill program and I tell them I don't have it. I, I have not heard it. that ever, so I thought I would ask you what never happened. I know the phone number off the top of my head to them around to anybody that requested it. There's no reason to refuse him. So when, when he came in to report to you the times that he did, um, did you urge him to get enrolled? Of course. I'm sure. Okay. And then so what was the problem? I have no clue. He was given the information from the very first office visit. If he would have asked for it again, he would have received it again. I have never told anybody I don't have it. I know it off the top of my head. And so all he needed was just that general referral. And I would give him the phone number. Yes. And I did I did request, well, if you're having that much trouble with probation, why don't you just come and call the court? Mm -hmm. Come up here. Call my office. We could have gotten you the information. Yeah, the to yeah, somebody in probation could have done it. All right. And so he says he's completed 20 hours of community service. But he never turned it in. Did he tell you that? Yeah. yeah. I just spoke with him this morning. I said, do you have your community service? At least yeah. I can tell the judge that you're in the And what do you know about this Ms. Green? He said his green usually landed on a Sunday and he had to work, so he couldn't make this decision. Stand by, Ms. Turner. I said, did you want to address it? Sir, you heard the probation officer. She said she gave you the referral from the first day. She just spotted out the phone number. She didn't know what I was going to ask her, but she spotted out the phone number to the program by her. What's the problem with you not getting it in your mind? Although it's a, although possibly just one. Okay, so originally, I, I did get the information at the beginning. So. Oh, you said you never got it after numerous requests. Do you know how unbelievable the story is? And you know, all the worst possible outcomes happen to you in one sitting. Your probation officer, who is a dedicated domestic violence probation officer, she knows it's like the back of her head. That's all she knew. She suddenly never gives you the information. Then you say, oh, yes, you did, but then I was in it, then I lost it, and then I couldn't get it again. If you're in the program, you should have had it yourself. You would have had, sir, you, you would have had workbooks and documentation from them with their name on it. Then you say you find it. After you Google it, they don't call you back. So why'd you miss the drug screens? Because I worked on Sunday from seven to nine. Every hour I worked on from seven to five thirty. And you never thought it was important to make an arrangement I to call them. I probably told you that if they could do it for a week, that was fine. But Sundays I can't make it on Sunday. Okay. And they kept scheduling me. So the drug Sunday screens, the random drug screens, are supposed to fit your schedule. Is that what you really believe? I mean, so I was with my job to put drugs in. Uh, nobody loses their job. You make arrangements for your job. You go and you tell them, I got a screen. I need to leave for an hour. I'll be right back. Bet you didn't do that. It's nobody to cover my position. I'm the only holographic that works. Well, who going to cover when you go to the game? They might find somebody else at this point, though. And the 24 hours of service, you say you did it and they, you never turned it in. Sorry, so the 20 you. hours of community service that you did do, you yeah. never turned it in. No, I don't have to fix that. If I'm putting that on the job. Okay. I did, we did my 20 hours. Okay, first step. All right, and your recommendation has a change. And did you want anything else to say? Pardon me, Judge, or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Let him ask Mr. Rivers, do he want to be heard? You know, Judge, at this time, I, I understand the recommendation from probation, but I would still ask the court if they would just be willing to extend probation uh, for my client for one more time, Judge. I do believe that he did uh, complete the 20 hours of community service, even though he doesn't have proof. He stated that the proof will be given at the end. Um, I do feel as though he is trying, Judge. He does work. Um, he has two jobs. And I just want to ask the judge just to give him a give him another oh, chance. Oh, like I'm like really that unconnected that I could say, oh yeah, it's two years later, he's accomplished like nothing. But let me just go ahead and extend him past when I can extend him to even. <laughs> no. What do you want to say? Uh, I think that you're only the court's discretion. Flagrant ridiculousness to me. He didn't have to do this. He didn't have to even be here. I mean, I, and I don't believe that whole thing with Miss Turner. I just don't. If anything I know about her, she does know the heal program. She knows the phone number, and she knows she gives referrals to this daily. I've never heard anybody say the probation told them they don't have the number for the heal program. It's ridiculous, and that's what he told me. So he's like lying to me. Yes, you are. He's been off probation since 2022. Should have been off of this. The first violation was back, let's see. 2023, I extended the probation to the maximum period already. Completed the HEAL program. Thank you, thank you. Right. Uh, Turning service from Hope so this is like a year ago almost. At least July, August, September, October, November, December, January, half of a year. Same problem. Turn in community service from Focus Hope. Extended 24 months. Comply with the conditions. Any additional violation <laughs> equals jail. That's what I said. So, sentence of the court, $100 in violation costs, $150 attorney fee, pay the $510 that you already owe, we'll refer him to the collections for all of that for a payment arrangement, 21 days in jail, probation terminated. That is the sentence of the court. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and the status is revoked. 76948, that's what it was. That's definitely revoked at this point. Or, or hide up. Judge, if it's possible with the 21 days in jail, if my client will be able to do a report on the weekends due to his jobs? Mm -hmm. Hello? No, because quite frankly, he doesn't report to other things he's supposed to be doing. I don't know. I'm just gonna, I've lost faith in him. Oh, he's just got to go now. Because even just one more time, even if he could, could he turn himself in on Friday instead of today? Just so he can let you I don't know. trust that because he's not showed up for the things he's supposed to show up for because I can't because it's my job. So he got to go now. 